right, so. Fresh. Grab my game. There we go. All right, all right. Interesting. Uh, well, I'll have to tweak that another time. Finding it interesting is that it's uh, apparently put a black bar on the top of my stream. So, I have to tweak settings. I thought I had it full screen, but, uh, you know. Let's see here. Editor. Black bar on the side. There we go. There we go. Right. Okay. So, looking at going around grabbing some drop pods and such. I'm doing some prep work right now to get the stuff needed. There's a lot of them that are out there that require power. I'm going to pull this away from there so I can grab some extra fuel because I don't trust my ability to plan out fuel. Okay, so if you've not heard of the site uh, satisfactorymap.com I highly recommend it if you are not caring about I mean it's not really going to take away from some of your exploration but I mean it will kind of spoil some of it for you but that's not a huge shocker I guess would be a good way to put it okay so there's two drop pods there. Um, one thing I like about it is that uh, you can go into the thing and have it load up your save files. Like, and it will tell you which drop pods you've collected from and which ones you haven't. So you can kind of plan out where you want to go. And... I sort of don't know. Getting in a rush, wanting to go, go, go. Forgot to grab some more parts for getting up to some of these drop pods. A uh, fair number of them that I'm going for now are not on the ground. And so I'm going to need to. Going to need to drive up, well, park, and then uh, build platforms or bridges, walkways to... want to get some... Okay, probably have plenty of... Now, my inventory, you see I've got all kinds of crap in here. Uh, I don't need that much black powder. Dump the black powder. I was building a bunch of uh, obelisks and such. And a bunch of ammo for my gun. I was doing that so that way... Well, the novelists I'm going to need... I have my remote detonator. Great. Yep, nope, yep, yep. Yes, I've got the detonator. I've got the scanner. I've got my... Weapon here. Now I'm going to grab a bunch of steel or iron rods. Should be enough. I think I want to grab a little more concrete. And I should be good to go. Should be all the drop pods. Now, 
You notice I'm carrying some coal with me? I don't know that any drop pods require coal, um, but a lot of them require power. So what I was planning on doing, I could pop, drop down a coal power plant nearby and then just wire it in. It, it to me seemed easier than trying to run wires all the way out. Now, some of them say they require 246 megawatts or whatnot. Hopefully that's not all at once. I haven't done any testing. I haven't thought of, I haven't done this yet. It was my kind of thought of rather than running wires everywhere and then having to bring them back is sometimes, okay, sometimes you can't run wires everywhere or, well, because the way the map is not easy. So I'm going to go up here. One of the drop pods is in the biome over here. Here. So I was gonna run up and see if I can spot it from a distance. Because if I can see it, I might be able to build over towards it. Shoot. That was close. So let's see here on the map roughly huh. I think it's actually it was connected. Go up here. The really think might be of that chip. Just a little bit north. Hopefully, if my understanding is. Now this is a drop pod I've already collected, pretty sure. Go over to this side. Actually, I think it's that way. Okay, there's that. So there, it, I thought I saw a drop pot out there. That there is one. Okay, so go down here. On top of that mush. Okay. Yep. 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 There is a drop pod out there. So I can see it now. So I almost made it there. We have the platform started to that one. There's a drop pod there. Did I actually? I don't think so. Yeah, because when I got down to here, I questioned whether that was a drop pod. And, okay, so let's redo my organization. Put 
from seven. I'm going to go down to six, five, four. What is that? Probably most what I'm going to need. This drop pot. Top of a This way, do This because I want to do ramp down crap. I also want to do a ramp up. I try to pick up the stuff just so way it's a way of you going, okay, I've been here, there's no stuff on the ground. I don't know that I'm going to go all the way down and pick up all the... Okay. Oh. Needs... So to do the power, why I wanted to do this, oh, Approaching on clearance. Really wasn't planning on doing all the way down. I'll pick up my power plant once I finish. So I want to run up here. Pull in. Back up.
Okay, that worked. Now. Back up my how much coal did I end up lost too? Not bad. Gives me another hard drive. Now the other one. Oh, my inventory's full. Oh, what did I step too much random Really don't need the water. Okay. Okay, back up. Apparently I picked up too much crap I here. I need to figure out I was up here. Oh a drop pod down. Nope, nope. I think I've got I've grabbed that drop pod. This says the next drop pod. Well, well, close. You know. Mainly east, north. There is some green, but how far is it from the pot? On guys, there's there's a bit. Got it. Question becomes: Is it floor or up top? Now, I've noticed they seem to like to put them up top. So, I'm going to stay up here. Down. That was safe. Uh, 
that's taken this path is taking me towards the geysers that way um once i get down solid ground here But it's that one right there. So if I build down, there, that one might be a, quite a challenge. There's probably going to be some beasties down there. Does look like I can get a slug down there. Do this right. Two more slugs. Like we have the stupid uh, explodey bees. Huh, a lot of gas too. Go ahead and turn it. Doesn't look like any gas to the direction. There's gas all down below. Gonna be gas all around the pod. Okay, what does it? Gonna need. Get closer. I kind of wish there was a way to. Remove some of these plants. Why is that going? Yes. Like something's supposedly agitating it, but yet anything. Oh, I'm not near it. And normally that's qualification, but what uh, agitates it? Green slug. I don't know. 
know what's going on with that plant. But from here, we can see most of the gas is there. So if I keep coming down where it was, I'll have to deal with them around that. Other than that, might be able to run in and out without having herb plants for too long. seen any baddie bad guys around. Not that I'm complaining. Yeah, see, I'm coming down over gas plants. be safe go ahead and put my gas mask on because this is going to be rough now I already know this is going to require power Now I keep my mask on. Pickups. Run away. That's the one with the. So, it's two more slugs, and two more drop pods. Most of the drop pods I'm getting to now are getting to be in interesting places. Um. That, that one. Yes. That one only takes quick wire. It's not far from where I started setting up for oil. Let's that way there's two drop pods over there I think four is a good number before starting the research that's 40 minutes worth of uh, research but I don't know if I'll get to that one or I 
there's always some bad guy floating around. Not that I can't handle it, it's just decent, I guess. So I've gotten a couple more slugs. So I think they're both greens. Not great. But they're slugs. Always can use more of the power shards. Okay. Leave. There's probably all kinds of slugs out in the section. They have none. Hey, Tay. How are you doing? You're watching me run all around on these crazy platforms I've built, which there you can see them going all over the place through this. Well, it's a swamp biome underneath that. Apparently today it's foggy yet. Uh, yeah, I'm running around do, doing, picking up, there's drop pods in this game and they have hard drives, which you can then put them into a research table. It'll give you more uh, blueprints and patterns for crafting other stuff or I actually found out that in the last update, apparently they put in some um, patterns that you can't make unless you go and find the hard drive with the blueprint on it. Because there's like compacted coal, which is not a default recipe. You had to find it somewhere. Um, turbo fuel was another one. So I'm trying to... Get, uh, there's a alternate recipe for steel and I have to find a drop pod with the drive that might have it in it. Since all the drives are identical, they, uh, <laughs> it's just a random chance on what three recipes you get for your option. So you got to keep finding drop pods. Let's see, I'll drive off the cliff. This is my little buggy. And here's like those that's what one of the drop pods. I'm not sure if you knew what the, that is. Like there's crash sites all over. And you have Minecraft physics in this game where you can build floating platforms and stuff. I really do like the uh graphics they put into the game and the creativity they put into the different biomes. Kind of cool to see what they came up with. Yeah. Let's see. Get to the drop. I haven't One's on the beach on the far side. Uh, they're both over far from my... Gonna have to build by the oil thing anyway, so I might as well start making an easier path to get around there already. I started a little bit the other night because oh. let's see here that was the down here's the way okay I already have by this waterfall. Kind of use that rock ramp. Use a ramp over. Don't know. Let's see. If I get up. 
how easy it's going to be to get back. That looked like too bad. So here's two of my new oil spots. Oops. That's the southern two. There should be two. Yeah. Here's another oil pump. Should be either up and pump in that direction. So I need to find. Well, hello, Mr. Green. Always looking for more green slot. Okay. Really hate those. Avoid not triggering them. Oh, of course the drop pod's in the middle of the flipping. Well, we get to see how good I am at uh, killing freaking explosive bees. I don't know that. I didn't really think that was going to be possible. That's kind of funny. Sharpshoot him. I'm a sharpshooter now or something. I don't know. Shooting bees in the air. Got a couple more over here, so let's pop them. Come on, fly. Uh, there should be three more, two more. Oh, that's one of the friendly. Well, not really. He doesn't attack. So there should be one more floating around. The other side of that drop pot. Go ahead and pick this corpus up. Go ahead and pop that one. There is a chance they could wander over to here. Bugger go. Okay, because I think there might still be one floating around here somewhere. Fire in the water. Let's see what the drop pod needs. Okay. Four. I, I forgot to grab rubber. But a. And I'm not seeing any rubber on the beach. We uh, we do have oil. Um, and my vehicle. I can make rubber. That. Go ahead and hop in the vehicle. Go back. The oil. The plant oil pumps I don't have power I, I think to any of these oil pumps I have to run power across but that's fairly easy up out drop power pull Act, act, and we're just going to use one of the cool features I do like about this game to make it simple. Make it simple to uh, do power poles and stuff. They made it so if you do the wire, connect the electrical wire. They made it so it will automatically, like right now I'm just using the connection wire stuff, and it automatically 
but the most generic powerful. So essentially, here. So if you look at my hotbar there, number three is the wire connection. It's for doing power lines. So I hit that pole and it automatically puts a pole out in front of me. One of the ways I can uh, do connection without having to worry so much. Now I need to get up above. And so I'm gonna drop the pole here. I'm going to drop it out here or it's not too long. Okay. And can I drop one up there? I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to go back here. Let's see. I need to get the gas mask off. Gas mask. Put my blade runners. I'm going to drive back up top. Connect it up to the other make it simple because right now it's a little questionable how easy this is going to be to get it's too bad I do love this buggy thing though they did a really good job of creating it I mean if I was doing exploring like you know on a remote planet I'd want something like this Maybe not this exact thing, but, you know, I'd, I want something that would be able to handle, you know, a variety of terrain. Off-road type vehicle is definitely, would be a, always a plus. Okay. Should be able to that power. And it's connected. Power lines are connected. Here's a bunch of coal. Unfortunately, I need sulfur. There need there really needs to be sulfur. Um, yeah. If I could there. I don't. Most of sulfur. It's not very close to. This. Let's see. You have sulfur map. There is no close sulfur node. Uh, the closest one is either back at my base area that I've already tapped, or the one over by the bauxite. There is no sulfur. So I either am going to have to ship sulfur in if I want to do anything with the like if I want to do the compacted coal because with uh, compacted coal move my compacted coal compacted coal does a well require sulfur um, to make and essentially it basically makes it a uh, more powerful fuel, a better fuel for the things. Okay, so these should be pumping up oil. Don't need a hundred. Go into the vehicle's craft bench. I, well, actually, go into the storage, drop the excess fuel here or at least some of it drop the, no drop this into the inventory don't need to be carrying that around okay Go down to rubber should be able to yeah I can make a hundred because for every four bo barrels of oil I can get four rubber and this will let me make or open up that drop pot. Right.
it's another re I, I I do love that on all the vehicles except for trains all the vehicles have a craft bench on them. even the tractor the uh, truck and the buggy here they all have a craft bench on them. so you don't have to drop down a craft bench if you are running around in one of your vehicles Now, after we're up here, open. Okay. The next one's above us somewhere. Getting there is going to be the problem, especially with the buggy. I don't know why I never thought about trying that before, but that's kind of awesome that you can just pick them off. But yeah, I need to get above. One way, one way would be to, let's see here. Hide the filter. So the drop pod, I'm here. It's going to be, let's see here. Two oil or I might have to drive all the way around, get up to this other level. The other option, other option, and there should be two oil up above, too. Let's try to do the drive around, see how bad this is. Um, it'll, well, what's up with this path? If, is this a path? Bird? Oh, there's gas. Art plan. I might have to get creative on getting up there because I think the fart plants are going to be in the way. This is probably good. I have the buggy. Let's see here. Get up. This way. Okay. I think we are. Oh, here's one of the shooter guys. Fortunately, the they don't seem to care about you if you're in a vehicle. Not sure where this drop pod's going. There's a slug up there. Ceiling. Hopefully I can get back up. Oh, 
here's oil. Okay, here's the two oil. And there's a sponge. Slug there, slug there. Okay. I think drop pod's still above me. Slug there. Turn around. Not really. I I hate dealing with the spiders. They're right, they aren't bad to fight. They're just a. Sometimes they're kind of buggy. Or I, I guess would be a good way to put it. Um, so fighting them is not always the feasible. Or how you want to look at it. Hmm. Might be taking me up and out. Here we go. Eight. Drop pod should be up. Now I, I do have to be careful up here. I could lose my vehicle. Oh, there's this Mercer sphere. Let me tag mercer spheres on the map might help me figure out where i'm at like okay so. I think I'm still too far. Yeah. No. I don't know. Drop pod should be. Ish. Honestly, I need a better angle. Where'd the doggy go? It's likely up above me. I don't know. I think I'm actually gonna give this one. I'm gonna probably have to get extra creative get to it which isn't a problem it's just uh, I don't know so here's a gas this like I think there should be gas that eventually yeah it covers the entire path I've actually been up and around that way a lot of the uh, changing of biomes not all of them, but some of them, when there was a drastic change, they actually put a lot of uh, gas cloud stuff. So I don't know if that... I kind of wish if you put your gas mask on before you hop in your vehicle that it would actually count for having your gas mask on. Oh, hey, there's another one of those doggos. Well, maybe not really a doggo, but you know... Okay, now I'm curious. <laughs> What's behind the wall? I'd have to take out the dog guy. But... Honestly, it shouldn't be a problem. Eight shots. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that hurt. 
Not as much as I thought. These guys can really hurt. Okay. Don't need that. Do need this. Oh, hit this. The gun back on. We load this. Oh, that, that's that was almost bad. just a mercer sphere in here that's disappointing apparently that one's an invisible rock Okay. Now, I do need to get... Right. You go down more. Get back down to the beach. Here. Uh, lost. Oh, this way. I guess I'll go backwards. Whatever. Are the gas cloud plants? Yep, there we go. We're down to the beach. Drive by that one drop pod. Okay. Oops. Just attention that. I have done that. Oh well. What I can do about it now. I think. Moves. Like butter. Okay, so. Probably wondering what I'm doing now. There is, or was. I'm gonna need this. Down on an island, there is a bunch of gas things. The floaty island. I had to get creative to get there. And then is got space. And that's what I'm going for. Mr. Purple. Apparently it still won't let me get close. Purple power slow. Oh, rat. 
I'd say this is successful. Three drives. Plugs. Okay. Should be away from the gas. And put back on my Blade Runners. Safe. I should get weapons back out. Okay. Yeah, eventually I plan on building a huge plant out here to do coal oil processing. I would like if uh, there, there was sulfur nearby, I would love to do, make it into compacted coal and then also make it into, then take it to the next step of turning it into the uh, turbo fuel with the fuel out here, but fortunately, no sulfur near, well, I'd have to ship it in some And I don't know that that would be an easy task. I can do it. The closest, probably the easiest one to do would be the sulfur plant or sulfur node that's over here, the other side of this lengthy bridge. I mean, I've already built this bridge up. All I would have to do is connect a train or something. And I would probably do a minor train station. I wouldn't build up like a train station like I have other and it would essentially just be transporting sulfur out. Probably do like a two car train or something. Pull it from there, send it out. Let's see, let's, let's, go, let's go back. Didn't use as much fuel as I thought I would. It's probably fine. Actually, since I said I was doing drop pods, there is one drop pod I think I can get to that I haven't done. It needs power. Part of the setup I've done with this is that I made it so I could make a power plant and drop in some coal to power it. So let's go ahead and head that way. It, We were close, but I, I hate driving through gas. So... We're going to hit it from the other side where it's safer, easier to get to. Which requires driving down this way towards where my future uranium and nuclear power plant stuff is probably going to be. There is a cave down here that has um, uranium in it. I have my... I didn't bring my suit with me, but I do have a suit. But I already ran power down to here. Uh, eventually, though, I'm gonna take the power poles and run them to the cave. We'll drive right by the cave here. So the cave's right there. I've already started doing some exploring in the cave, uh, getting slugs and stuff. I made it all the way back to the uranium node. I just need to. Basically put a miner in there and then start mining that I hadn't touched it yet. I actually need to run power poles through and in. Okay, get up this hill. Wait, it feels super Go up here, hang a right. This used to be the way I could would get to the bauxite place, but uh, because I made a train station and whatnot path, I don't have to drive it anymore. But there is right up here. Remember correctly was a 
There it is. There it is. Normally there's something. Yep. Hanging out. Guess that's one way to die. So, pretty sure needs a power plant. Drop our coal plant. It's what. There's the coal. There we go. The goal was for four. I got the four. And it worked fairly well doing the uh, portable power plant, basically. Drop the plant, power it up the thing, pick up the plant. So, gonna head back and Head back and, uh, yeah. yeah. See, we're skirting that one marshland biome, um, right there, which we did a lot of exploring above I haven't done a whole lot in because it's hard to see some of the uh, firefly explosive things until you're right up on them so I have kind of uh, not gone in there too much so what I'm driving around there's a huge hole that goes down out the bottom of the map there is another huge hole back that way where that water is going down. I was thinking of building in those two, in one of the hole, that hole back there with the waterfall. I was thinking about put, making it be my uranium waste storage because it's going to irradiate the entire area. I don't know how far out. Hopefully it's going to be safe enough back in that corner um, while close enough to the plant that it's not going to. So that's the hope that it all works like that or work, it should work fine like that uh, honestly I don't really need uranium urani like nuclear reactors and whatnot for power I only am going that route because it's oh another challenge how I can do it safely so hop in here grab one of the hard drives Here, let's grab out. How about that? This is where I've been storing all the weird random stuff. At least most of it. I have more versus other plates. I just, I don't know. I don't pick them all up all the time either because. There really isn't a huge point yet. Maybe in the next tier they're going to be of value, but uh, for now, let's go ahead and turn in the power slugs into power shards. There's eight more of the power shards. And here I put these, like, uh, you know, constructor assembler and big plant because I like to look at what the alternate recipes I have already unlocked. I like this one because I already have 
I can already, you know, supercomputers aren't that hard to make. You're already making them for other reasons. And then also, you know, heat sinks. That really isn't that bad for a price. Um, you don't have to make... Essentially here, you don't have to mix a crystal oscillator. It, it just takes 30 crystal. Which, honestly, to me, is easier. I don't have to... It takes, like, one of the steps of manufacturing out. Because otherwise I'd have to do a step just to make crystal oscillate. Uh, here I was just playing with uh, one of the setups. I don't know that... Uh... But, uh... So, this is an alternate black powder. It uses compacted coal and sulfur. Black powder. Here's the another computer. Um, this would require the crystal oscillators, so... I'm not a huge... I don't know. It's a neat idea. I'm not sure if I'll go that route or not. Uh, here, this is not a bad way to make some circuits. It takes quick wire instead of just wire. So I don't know that there's a lot of use for wire, so it's not really that different. The benefit may be the fact that you get how many you get per... Because here you're getting six circuit boards every 24 seconds. And this is two every 12, so in 24 seconds you would get four. You get four circuit boards. This could come in handy if you're trying to move away from how much stuff you're producing. Like... You could, with some of these alternate recipes, you could cut out certain things, certain aspects. Like, uh, this requires the steel pipe instead of the steel, um, beams. So what you could do, it could help you cut down how many steel beams you're producing. Or, at all, if you're, produ you know... And here was a good recipe. This would require the steel beams, though. But you also, in 12 seconds, you get 36 screws. Even the alternate recipe, 8 seconds, 12 screws. So, and this is 4 seconds for 6. So, technically, these two are the same time to get the same amount of screws. It's just... One, you only take two ingots, and the other one, you take one. It's the same material cost, it just takes one of the steps out. Because, uh... This would be basically, to, to make the two iron rods, to do, to get to your 12 screws this way, it's, it'd be two ingots. Well, you just don't have to turn them into the, the iron rods. Now this is completely a whole other thing, and I kind of like the idea. I don't, I don't know that I, uh, I don't actually. I don't see why it won't. Because you get more screws faster, it might make it so you can actually keep up with the demand. I was making screws out in this iron facility. I don't know that I'm going to keep doing that. Shipping screws seems like a bad idea because while well, they stack to 500, though you need so many of them that I don't know that you can easily keep up with that. So it'd almost be better to add in a single, like a single constructor, have the ingots come in. I could be wrong in that thought process, I guess, but I mean, I don't know. Okay, let's see. see it, uh, if you notice, I grabbed pretty much a little of everything. And that was because I wasn't sure what I'd run into out there for requirements. So. Let me save the game. But uh, technically, yeah, if you look at the satisfactory map that I talked about, it actually will tell you what you need. 
So, I mean, I could plan ahead better and whatnot, and yeah. But if you ever click the locate player, tell and show, give it your save file. It will, from that, tell you what you've collected for slugs, what you've collected for pretty much everything. So, you do have to, like, refresh it. So, like, I have still that one drop pod that I couldn't get to yet in the, over by the oil areas. But I have that one swampy biome area that I was up above. We got all the drop pods out of there. There's no drop pods around my base area. The next section would be drop going through drop pods that are in the one beachy area over by my where I'm going to eventually set up a compacted full setup. So getting the sulfur there is going to be an interesting trick. If you notice here. Put a beacon there to put where the sulfur is. There are four coal nodes roughly here. And so my thought was to use the water area because it's about the big flat big flat of the old and build up and have the sulfur come over the hill and down and meet up with the coal turn it into compacted and then from there I'll have a train that will run out and I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it out of here there doesn't seem to be a great path I don't know it may have to be an interesting interesting trip I don't know if I'll have to run it. I'll have to think about it, probably plan it out a little bit, but eventually I'm gonna bring it out to by this truck station there is that my one gas facility what well, power plant. I'd what like to convert that all over to using turbo fuel. And then That's interesting. Power status connected. 50 megawatts usage. So here you can see like that's that waterfall that's dropping into the black area which is a void. The cave I'm looking at is right there. So this cave is here. This is where my quartz plant is. And the uranium node is underground roughly somewhere in here-ish. So I'm going to set up, you know, mining it, pull it out. I might build over this hole and have like the processing and... Well, I don't know. I like the idea of shipping it all up the hill here. Um, so I might, maybe if I build a bunch of, I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it because 
I'm trying to limit how much of the area I irradiate and that could be a problem because I drive through this section off and on as you've seen I may have to just fuck it up and drive another path I could go up this way I'd probably have to I don't know. I'll, or I could just use my trains to get to certain spots past it. So. Yep. Sulfur's oh, there. There's some iron and stuff up above here. There's another bauxite node. There's in this biome. There's actually, from what I saw, I think uh, several bauxite nodes. But so far, I haven't had massive need for. Let's see what I've got. Okay. Back to coal, iron. So here, I don't even need the ingots. Iron ingots. I just need raw iron, compacted coal, and I can make steel ingot. That to me is an awesome recipe. Now this one's not a bad recipe either. Gets rid of screws again. I will just have to hope I get it again, but I've been trying to get this one for a while. I saw it once and hadn't seen it since. So hopefully the next thing I'll be able to, uh, yeah. So, now, in my, uh, steel plant, I'm gonna have to rework it because I'm not going to, I don't need to process the iron ore into anything. And I also have to change my coal into compacted coal before I ship it in. So let's park. Dump a lot of my random BS inventory stuff. Things I don't need. I might need those, but. I don't need to carry all my ammo on to the black powder. When I'm running around my base, I empty my inventory, drop my inventory down to the minimum. This black powder. Coal and Crystal. Here's some compacted coal I've already made. This. That. So, to make compacted coal, you need assemblers. It makes maxed out 75 per minute. Now, the miner back there, I can't remember if the miner back there is a Mark III or not. I do need a lot of concrete. I have a concrete plant by it, so I'm gonna go with that. I have some iron, some steel. Grab the aluminum sheets for between Okay. 
Now I could run back there or I could drive. I'm a little... So I'm not going to drive down the concrete plant and back up or anything like that because I have a bad habit, since I only made it one wide, bad habit of uh, falling off crap like with the vehicle. Park, run down. Fill up with concrete. There's even another concrete note over there, or limestone note over there, if I actually wanted to use it. I built those two because, well... So. First things first. We are going to... I guess first things first will be... So I don't get chests everywhere. I'm going to put a storage box there. All the coal that I end up... So we're going to channel a lot of this. Here. Going to this comes in this side. I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna paint. Already a Mark Three. Good. Drop a couple of those in just so I can start picking stuff. So, I'm going to change layout. Let's Uh, 
Let's see. How do I want to change this look? There's a hole. Okay, so here. I shoot it out. Don't need all of that yet. Okay, now I can get full action. If I do this. So to compact coal, I need but if Gonna go one more this way. Side. plan here is I'm gonna expand it a little bit put walls up later once I have a better idea of where I want everything so I'm gonna need a bunch of assemblers and for this coal so it does 480 I want to try to maximize so to compact coal, I need equal coal and sulfur. So let's run down to the sulfur facility. I don't, well, let's look down first. Can't remember. Okay, it is a Mark III. So there is that. So if it does 480 also by default, I can crank it up and crank the one upstairs up. 
Ooh. Sulfur is going to be the problem. Man. That would... This brings it to 240. Pull out. 300. Oops. This does 300. I need more sulfur. I need sulfur faster. Oh wait, no, this isn't Mark III. This is just a... I need a Mark III. I need, I need to just go to Mark III. Okay, so that means I'll need, for Mark III... I'll need one more of those. I'll need five turbo motors. Turbo motors are going to be the harder things to fire. I don't have a facility already making turbo motors, so I will have to manually make turbo motors. So here's another reason why I put so that way I don't have to I don't need all this crap taking it back and forth because when I'm going to be making turbo motors, I'm going to need the space for other stuff. down lane that way also by now since i'll get two of the miners portable miners when i get back I know that you can, can't make but for turbo motors i will need rubber heat sinks radio control unit A lot of the top end thing. Gonna go up to the top. My hard drive thing should be done, so I can bump it to the next one. from my one of my mobile games is the chat okay okay he really wants to chat so um there I muted that one um, they brought someone out. Oh. Wow. Oh, wait, no, it's not the guy I thought. Uh, they did bring, you know, one of the guys in, but uh, I thought it was the guy who was like, keeps telling me, oh, hey, I'm going to join chat with you guys, and then never does. I, I still don't see, I mean, you get more, but I don't know that I see the point in getting that one as much. This one, also, I really, I, concrete is really not hard to get. I get crap tons of it all over the place. This one, which is over to quick wire. So, I mean, I don't know. I'll take that one. Put in the next drive. Okay, so I need to go down. Need to actually.
they aren't Mark III. Oops. No, stop bouncing. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately, you can just get out and it'll and hit the E button and it'll flip it back over for you. Um, if you tip it into the water, though, you are hosed. Able to get it out. If you submerge it, so. The only way to get it out after you've submerged it is to essentially just you have to what basically these keep deconstructed so i need one more portable miner okay so i have the portable miners i need steel pipe and turbo motors turbo motors are the thing go down to the turbo motor get all the actually somewhere Add a list. What it took for. Nope. Nope. I don't know. Oh well. So, 40 rubber for five. So, if I want five, I need 200 for rubber for that. I need to make radio controlled units, which requires, well, it says I have the alternate recipe, but unfortunately you can't use alternate recipes here. So you can't use them. Like none of the alternate recipes show up in the bench. Anymore. Used to have them in the bench, but after this latest change. Right mouse, mouse button in list, add, add to to-do. Okay. So five turbo motors. Now it tells me that I need 20 heat sink. Twenty of the radio control unit. Or no, 10 radio control. Okay, there's 10 radio control units added. So oscillators. Nine of them. And then for... 60 heat sinks. So, I have the aluminum sheets on me I need to get the rubber get the rubber the main thing I need that's not like the rest of it I need so there's that should let me create the 60 heat sinks
It's interesting. This is the first time I've tried this or done this before I actually did it all myself by hand. Okay, so we have the heat sink. Now I can go to the. Oh, I need crystal oscillators. Which. This, I just need 90 quarts. Close. Bunch of quartz up here. I need to dump everything that's in storage up here and bring it down. I was going to dump a lot of the stuff out of what's up here. Because I really don't, uh, well, I'm move I moved the train station. Which unfortunately means all this crap is no longer... I don't need more sheet. Okay. So I should have enough to make the cr nine crystal oscillators. Now, I do play other games. Um, Satisfactory isn't the only one. I do, like, I played WoW yesterday on stream. I do play also, like, The Division 2. And I, unfortunately, when I reinstalled my computer, I haven't set up Division 2 yet. Uh, my only drawback to Division 2 right now is the fact that it plays better when you're playing with others. And I, I guess, you know, that's not really a huge drawback, so to speak. But, I mean, if you don't have a group of people, a clan, guild, whatever, that's playing The Division 2, it, it kind of just kind of isn't the best. I guess is the best way to put it. Okay, this gives me five turbo motors. Now I'm going to dump the crystal that I don't need over here. Shorts. Anything else in here? So now, Mark three. I have everything except for the steel pipe. Grab that over here. Let's go upstairs. This Eight, been ten minutes to uh, be able to get this going. Here. No, not quite. Fortunately, ever since this last update, they changed. You don't get to see what time is remaining. Uh, I think I'm going to probably once this completes, I'll probably end up. Uh, into the stream so I just wanted to kind of show you one last thing that I might have gotten unfortunately you won't see the last last drive um but uh yeah I still get to see recipes um I did get the one I wanted so I can do the compacted coal with the iron to get the steel okay of these which are the that's an interesting recipe rubber plus wire equals circuit board for now i'll take that one um let's see here how to put the last drive in okay 10 minutes from now which is uh so yeah, um, with that, I am I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the stream here. I would like to thank everyone.
for watching and commenting, talking, all that fun stuff. If, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to keep this being a regular schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. If you like my stuff, there's, you can comment, oh, you can follow me. And it will let you know when I'm streaming next if you can't remember. So, yeah. And with that, have an awesome day, everybody.